All right, boys and girls, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to show you part two of my new detail rig build. Uh, like I mentioned in part one, this is my 99 E150 Ford van, my redneck van with my AC in it. And I'll tell you what, you shouldn't knock it till you try it. So, doors open just like that. Again, Nothing fancy about this build. Um, what I was aiming to do, I gotta fix that gap right there. No problem. Anyway, I just threw it together and then tossed it in here. <clears throat> I am going to uh, put one brace along the back just to help in the structural rig rigidity of the unit, but it fits great. Um, all you've really gotta do to put something like this together is take the measurements, uh, make sure that when you measure the interior of your vehicle, you make sure that your measurements of the finished product that you build out of the vehicle will go back into the vehicle. I had to put that in. Actually, I did all the measurements multiple times. You measure three times, cut once, that's my rule. And um, I made it so that it would fit in there pretty much perfect like you see there. Uh, there's a little bit of room on each side, but um, I was concerned mainly about the seat belt holders back there. And uh, I definitely cleared those with no problem. It is pretty, pretty solid. I'm not real worried about it. Um, I definitely plan to put one brace on the back. I ran out of wood. I, again, I repurposed this wood. Uh, I actually had a platform for the front of the bed uh, built out of this wood. Uh, but I had to you know, recut it. I want to leave the back open just so that it's easy access for the vacuum cleaner and that kind of thing. Um, it's my off-road jack back there. I want to be able to get to all of that and then all of my road hazard stuff is going to fit underneath the seat back there and I can access it from the side door. I'm not real worried about that either. So generator, air compressor, and um, I got my vacuum there. My vacuum hose will probably live right here. Um, and I'm going to put the rest of my gear. I've got a couple of other things I'm going to do up to, on the top part, which you'll see in part three. But uh, this is the platform built, ready to go. Uh, and that is the first step basically to the new detail rig build. Um, I wanted something that was very easy to deal with, easy to access all my equipment, but also I want it to be removable because I use this van for lots of things, including pulling everything out and hauling product in it sometimes. So I wanna make sure I can put it in, take it out, no problem at all. But I'm also gonna be using that platform as a, um, a leg flat platform so that we can lay this way when we sleep in the van. So that's it. That's it for part two of the new uh, detail rig build. Again, I'm putting in only the things that you need to operate the brand new one system from detailsuse.com. You do not need a big old trailer, a huge van full of equipment. If you have all of that stuff, awesome. I recommend you sell it and go with the easier route. You can get far more done with far less when you follow what I tell you to do. And that's the bottom line. So as you can see, I got a good start. And um, I'm going to go ahead and pursue uh, fixing that corner right there. I just got to pull the screws out, push it down, and then screw them in harder. Uh, and then I'm going to run get some more wood, put that brace on the back just to aid in structural rigidity all around. I don't know that it needs it, but I basically I put four screws in all four corners and then um, three screws in these center ones. So it's pretty strong, but... Again, I like to overbuild things slightly, and uh, I've got a good start. Uh, my products will be uh, up on a section of this. I have a tank that I'm going to show you, uh, which will gravity feed the siphon feed uh, spray gun, but also I've got a little twist to it. So I'm going to get back to work. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It is a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes and what I've got going on. Things like this, things like the brand new One system, which I've completely switched to. Uh, seven products that will make your detailing career, life, 
uh, anything you're doing with the detailing situation, it will make your detailing endeavor, whether as an enthusiast or as a pro or a weekend warrior, someone who either wants to take care of his own car or cars and or maybe family members, maybe somebody who makes money doing this on the weekends part time or even full blown detailers can benefit from the brand new one system. And that's all I'm using in my own detailing business. So check out detailjuice.com for that. And if you got questions, let me know. Uh, but like I said, uh, check out my group on Facebook if you want to learn more about what I'm doing, uh, the products, processes, and that kind of thing. Uh, but also check me out on Instagram. It's gary.dean.35. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out part three.